Hey everybody, I'm Chris at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing. It's been a while since I've done a video and, uh, you know, haven't really had anything new and exciting come up uh, where I thought I, I really need to go out and do a video on that. Um, kind of just been keeping our heads down and, uh, you know, pounding away, getting machines out the door. Um, this last month we've shipped about, on average, 20 machines a week. And so that's, that's really hauling haul and tail for uh, um, you know a smaller company uh, we are up to uh, uh, 19 employees as of last week um, I just hired two more assembly people and one more for weld as well so um, you know but we've been you know like I say you know just kind of um, you know we had been struggling to keep up with orders and uh, with all the supply chain issues and stuff but we're kind of getting through to the end of that stuff um, and uh, you know really is going to start you know making ground here uh, going forward and so right now um, we're up to uh, 21 21 employees and i think two weeks from now we'll have another two more so hopefully those all work out but uh, sorry for blinding you in the sun there um, if you see behind me, we've got all kinds of machines here, ready to go into assembly, get put together. Right. So most of these machines right here are going to our new dealer in Ohio. Um, we kind of been keeping this one a secret, but Hartville Hardware in Hartville, Ohio, Eastern Ohio, um, they have a beautiful store there they have all kinds of high quality products uh, i think they sell well they sell steel chainsaws so this orange one here is going to fit right in and uh, they sell john deere tractors they sell you know the milwaukee's the dewalt's um, festool um, lots of the high end higher end tools uh, for for all you diyers and uh, they have a beautiful 300,000 square foot hardware store in Eastern Ohio. And these machines, a lot of them are getting ready to go to them. Uh, Jerry and, and the staff over there, I think are gonna be a great, great fit for the Wolf Ridge family. And uh, just to let you know, Jerry, we haven't forgotten about you. We, we, do, have, we do have your order. Uh, all done at weld all done in weld and most of it's already powder coated and back here getting ready to go into the assembly um, this one back here i believe will be a 35 ton sho um, i'm not sure what's all spoken for there at hartville but uh we'll have that we have that information up on our website now you guys want to get in touch with them uh, get one of these machines on order you can certainly do that. Getting some hydraulic tanks leak tested today. Getting that done. Um, one thing we uh, one thing we end up picking up. There's a there's a company in the area that I actually used to work at many moons ago. Um, they had a fire and one of the laser laser machines caught fire and they needed somebody to cut parts for them and we're actually sitting pretty well on our fab side we could we had the capacity to uh, be able to fit in another you know 20 to 30 hours of laser cutting per week to help them out so a lot of times it was long days um, you know I'd spend my spend my days in the office and uh, you know doing paperwork during the day but then at night in the evening I would come out here and uh, you know supervise the laser uh, operate the laser clean up the parts uh, that type of thing so lots of long days there but I think we're helping them out and uh, of course that little extra income and uh, you know, doing a favor for another company in the area always bodes well um, when you need a favor in return. So, luckily, we were able to uh, 
step in and, and help them. Right now it's cutting some of our push block parts. But uh, see how it, how it does here. It's pecks its way through this half inch plate. And it's cutting out some of the little holes and whatnot there. You see that part here. Um, oh, back here we have a whole bunch of machines that are that are ready to ship. These are going to be going to Dom's Fabrication in Pennsylvania next week. He's been waiting patiently. All you guys that have have them on order from from Gile over there, been nice and patient. Um, it will take it will take him a couple of days to uh, to you know get these machines in. But I would think by Friday, uh, the twenty seventh. You'll start giving everybody a call that your machines are ready to pick up there at at uh, Dom's Fabrication over there in Marysville, Pennsylvania. Um, everything's all ready to go. We're missing a couple of aluminum rims. You know, he does have Dom over there has a couple, so uh, we'll be able to ship that machine and everything else on that load. Um, he also has a couple of conveyors um, ready to go there. That one's uh, laid down flat. That's for shipping. Um, he'll actually do the final assembly over there at, in uh, Pennsylvania, but uh, that helps us you know, get more more machines on a truck. We'll have that uh, flattened conveyor sitting up on stands uh, in that Conestoga. A 40-foot uh, container just to, to store engines and and uh, hydraulic tanks and cylinders and and you know all these extra parts that we have to keep on hand because you know the supply chain issues we actually filled that up with uh, all parts so that you know we cut our lead times down and and uh, um, help to alleviate some of these back order issues um, so invested a lot of money in, in engines we actually just got in a shipment about about fifty thousand dollars worth of Honda engines here uh, this week and um, so a lot of the supply chain issues are, are um, subsiding and we're getting more parts in faster um, and uh, seeing a lot less back order issues. One thing we did upgrade is uh, we went to a higher efficiency uh, pumps. Now this here is a Haldex Barnes um, concentric brand pump. Um, this the difference between this here and the the other pumps we were using um, these have a higher um, higher tolerance or tighter tolerance on the machining so what that equates to is a higher efficiency rate so you know we're running on this machine this is a 35 SHO we're running about eight seconds cycle time and with this new pump we're seeing about a seven and a half second cycle time or slightly less. Um, once the oil warms up, you're actually a little less than seven and a half seconds for that big five inch cylinder and, and uh, with four inch rod. Uh, we do have some new uh, Galtech valves uh, in. We got some of them in now. We're still waiting on about 30 of them on our first order. Um, but you see one of them back in there. Um, once we get to serial number 1500, the guys that are paying attention, you got your serial numbers handy. Um, number 1500 and beyond is where we start using those Galtech valves. Basically all I got today, um, we, uh, let's see, all our lead times, lead times have gone down just a little bit. We're booking for the middle of February. Um, you know, be it, what is it, 24 weeks? roughly um, I haven't really updated the website yet because I want to make sure that you know all these new guys that I've got hired um, make sure they're working out making sure that they can build a quality product they show up to work and um, they don't piss me off um, <laughs> but uh, make sure that they're they're able to to help us with our um, with our production levels before I before I um, do any changes there but you know we do have six dealers around the country 
So if that lead time doesn't work for you, get in touch with one of our, our dealers and they should be able to get you a machine a little sooner than we can get it to you. Um, you know, depending on location, you may pay a little bit more for, you know, getting the freight to the dealer, um, you know, or, and the sales tax or, or whatnot. But if you need a machine faster, um, I definitely contact one of the dealers and that's going to be under the dealers tab on our website, um, wolfridgemfg.com for all pricing, um, the lead times, options, dealers. Um, we do have, you know, commercial financing on options on the website as well. And uh, I think that's about it. We'll walk this out with a little bit of welding at the end here. But if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, take care guys. Here. There we go. Thanks, Josh. <laughs>